This is called Yo, I'm Famous AF from the awesome Stephen Cogswell. Get it at otfi.com slash famous. The words that came out of his mouth in this moment. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> I am famous as fuck. Do you know who I am? <laughs> you want to see my YouTube channel? You want me to tweet about this? Famous as fuck. I am a VIP guest. And I am supposed to be on that stage, not true, in minutes. <laughs> And the guy says, Well, I've never heard of you. <laughs> oh, complete with the crowd shaming me at the end. Hello, beautiful people. It's Tuesday night, and that's the night we set fire to the internet. I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas, joined as always by my BFF and OAK. It's Justin Robert Young, aka JRY BBQ. What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Holy crap, Brian! Uh, we're back on Tuesday for the <sighs> first time in like a month and a half. Holy crap! I can't, I can't make that be just last week that was a that was a million years ago or i guess last week in two days like it seems like a lifetime since then i gave a tedx talk since then i went to hartford and came back <laughs> which we all know takes a solid three days in each direction <laughs> you have well to. no but i mean like i i guess what i'm leaving out here's the part that i didn't want to say but now you've shamed me into it i didn't just give a tedx talk i wrote and then gave a tedx talk <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part of your TEDx talk, watching it live, uh, was when you visibly realized how little time you had left in the rigid TEDx talk window <laughs> of like, do this in, what is it, 15 or 20 minutes? Uh, well, they gave us, uh, like, I think the, the, the actual number is 18 minutes, but we were flatly told 15. It must be 15, it must be 15. Yeah. Uh, when I did the slides, and I did it by myself, I actually was able to wrap it up in 12, and I thought, audience reaction, pause for comedy. I'm sure it'll be fine. And so I yeah. gave myself permission to to feel the space in the early, uh, you know, because... Get you know, a little, you scenery. know, just explore the studio, feel the vibe. Exactly, right? Like, hey, man, uh, while we're on the subject, doors, am I right? <laughs> so you were just... Because I didn't see the beginning, so were you just, like, in there doing crowd work? Like, <laughs> God, like I got look at this guy in his hat, am I right? <laughs> well, uh, there was... Starting off, I was like, I'm going to go slow, and then uh, there definitely was a moment... That I realized, okay, I gotta hit blank, 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 and blank, and then wrap, wrap the hell up. Yeah. Oh no, there was a point in which things notably went a lot faster, and and because uh, the idea, uh, uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, is there a place where people can see it? Where people can see the whole? Yeah, thing? somebody captured it. Um, if you look, if you look for Brian TEDx Hartford 09062017.mkv on YouTube, it just rolls off the tongue. You'll be you'll Perfect. be able to find it. Uh, so uh, we'll see if we can link it somewhere. But uh, there's definitely a build where you're like, okay. This is where I started. This is where I understood what community was. This is where you can take away things from every step. But there's a build from Brian decides he wants to do something but understands these elements of magic to theoretically the, the top of the mountain is the Diamond Club where all of a sudden these tricks not only work for you personally, but now this thing kind of makes this wider splash, right? Yeah, and uh, so the, the general theme is like I, I give um, some of the psychological principles uh, that I that we use on Scam School and the magicians take advantage of that we teach on Scam School. But but uh, the the kind of golden child is the surprise of how powerful social proof is. And the example that I give is us writing the Diamond Club stuff. But of course, I I the Diamond Club book to the uninitiated is when we faked an erotic fiction bestseller, and uh, and it continued to sell after we had done a thing. Uh, but uh, uh, I, I didn't want to undercut or try to shame because at the time we were big on shaming Fifty Shades of Grey. We did not understand. Sure. We were full on uh, sex negative <laughs> at the time. We were racist. We were doing a well, blackface sketch. We were sex negative. We were certainly uh, 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 
very sure of ourselves that we could write to the quality of E.L. James and we could write to something indistinguishable. We were more crapping on her as an author than we necessarily were crapping on the fact that people were banging. But that was that was the spice that made it all the more fun to entice strangers to write about it when it was like every chapter has to include an increasingly bizarre sex act. Yes. Uh, well, so so what was the what was the moment that flashpointed for you as I was clearly having a pivot trying to wrap up in time? <laughs> because you get all the way up to, like, uh, it, it's as if all right. Imagine it was a movie, right? And the movie, the studio's like, this has got to be done in an hour and a half, and you get a leisurely stroll through the introduction the hero's journey who brian is you get right up to the point where brian learns his powers and you're right at the point where brian realizes uh oh at this live show i can do operation i scam and i can make my way into the uh upper echelon of itunes's rankings and so everything is in its perfect kind of pacing right up to that and also, if I'm going to take a guess, because I've seen you give elements of that talk before, uh, that is its own talk. It's like, like that, that, that story with other stuff wrapped around it. The Diamond Club's a newer kind of addition. Yeah, to- that's, that's, that was the stapled on kind of more approachable poster child. It used to be, how great am I for cracking the code of space and time? And then yeah. all of a sudden I realized, oh, you know what's approachable is, how great are we for forming a community? Exactly. And so you get right into the ice cam part and then Brian's doing the like, like, all right, and look at that. And like, I almost maybe I'm reading into this, but I can almost hear in your voice as you're looking at the screen. You're like, man, iTunes looks different. This looks like (laughs) a very different version of iTunes that denotes exactly when this took place. And it's like, all right, don't worry. Here we go big thing uh, the trailers for the movies of 50 shades of gray are still coming out here we go right to the heart of relevance baby and you look at the clock and it's like minute and a half so we got a book and we did a book and we did a book and then we did do i see the book do i see the book we had a community 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 each and we're done um you're right in that i i wanted to to just perfunctorily go through my story, but it wasn't uh, because I realized iTunes looked old, but uh, but mainly because I figured I'm less interesting to everyone than this Diamond Club thing was. So I just, I, I shortened all of that, but also, yes, I knew that we were hitting the ramp, and also I wasn't comfortable dwelling on it because the more time I spent on it, the more I felt like I was being some expert on Fifty Shades of Grey, which I ain't. I'm, a, I'm an expert on trolling Fifty Shades of Grey with my partner. Yeah, I'm. I the one thing I was surprised about is that you didn't really go into the mainstream press that we got for it. Well, like that. I, I mean, what's to say? Um, uh, outside of a, we're talk. great and did a lot of press, you know. Um, that that it was a that's the social proof that it's a it, it, it's it's a more colorful version of let me show an iTunes list, right? Like like the, it's it's the proof that we did a big thing that got covered. By like all these different, more respectable outlets that were like, oh, wow. Because also everybody who's in that crowd is like, oh, you know what? You're right. I forgot. When I had done this before, I did take a moment like, and we're so great that we were on NPR, in Gadget, bleed to blood, bleed to blue. Uh, and I, I guess, I guess, um, I don't know. I, guess, I, I, I don't think it was for the reasons that you thought. I think I just thought like, oh, I must have these slides in there because I just wanted to prove that it was a success. And we don't need more than just a flish, flash, floosh through that. Uh, and also, yeah. yes, I was definitely out of time. <laughs> oh, yes. There was no takeaway I had other than there was a point in which I, I almost ima- I, oh, I, I'm probably imagining it. But I, I remember just your eyes just being like, oh, God, that's a short amount of time. Like, <laughs> like all right. Bah. So Fifty Shades of Grey, you ever heard of it? There's a lot of things. We're going to play a little bit of this video. Fuck, oh, my God. That's like 30 seconds of my video. <laughs> Yes, no, and, and you are correct. In the hour-long presentation, I definitely let it go 90 seconds, but we got like uh, like like the first completed sentence. I was like, and moving on. <laughs> uh, but dude, it was, uh, I'm so glad but I you were, was you were so- great. Let me, let me- let, let, let me not take away from the fact, uh, it was awesome. I encourage everybody to watch it. And it is a great story of not Brian, but what us, we realize this community is. And, and I, and I, <laughs> hold on, look what just popped so up. So right after Brian went up on the TEDx, 
Uh, someone, I don't think they checked the Chirons because. Oh, yes, yes, I saw it. This is so good. <laughs> because uh, we've got, oh, Mark Champlain here. Now let's move this Chiron away. Oh, entertainer, magician, scam school? <laughs> Malik, is this, this is news. This is hot news on the TEDx Hartford circuit. Um, uh, well, I'll tell you what. It made my day because I, I had. Uh, I held my powder for a long time because you could tell, like, the event organizers, they're really excited. They, they're they live streaming it. They want people to be watching or whatever. But I'm just sort of waiting, sort of just teasing, like, you know, hey, man, doing this TEDx thing. Just, you know, uh, if you're a fan, maybe be ready or whatever. And then there was this moment that I was just like, yeah, I go on in five minutes. Here's the link directly. And then I dropped that Diamond Club sign. And it was so awesome to watch it go from 40 viewers, 50 80, 100, 120. And then, and then at that moment, the event organizer walks in and, and they're like, oh my God, we got 120 people watching live. This is great. This is great. And they're like, what are all those diamonds? And then, and then yeah, they look over at me and I just, I just do that. Oh, <laughs> and by the way, uh, uh, there were probably more that couldn't get it in the chat because I couldn't sign in to live stream. Oh, the live really? Yeah, I don't have uh, a live stream account for any reason. Why, I, like, <laughs> why would I do why that? Why would I? What's... <laughs> yeah, no, uh, so I, I think it was a huge success, and, uh, and you did a great job. Everybody should watch well, it. Well, okay, but, but what I wanted to say is that it totally made my day to, um, out of everything, was was like, you know, the walking off the stage and seconds later getting the, the, the you killed it, that was a lot of fun, all that stuff, like knowing that you were watching just just, just made it awesome for me. Oh, dude, it was great. Uh, I do want to talk about something though, because you mentioned that you had a story that you wanted to share here in the. In the, in the do you opening. want to tell? Do you want to tell the story behind the story? <laughs> uh, here's all I know. I'm like, uh, we do our our call before the show just to kind of go over uh, everything, and I'm like, all right, what, what do we got? And he's like, well, Bryce has got a game, which is great, uh, and I got, man, I don't even want to tell you. This is a this here is a story. We got Kepler's DNA results, and I'm like. I have no idea how that's interesting, but don't <laughs> other word because we're gonna find out live on the okay, stream. Okay, but what you're by, leaving by way, out is that the moment I said it, you burst out laughing and said, "Don't even tell me," because the mere fact that you're bringing this up <laughs> tells yeah. me that there's some reason, literally the dumbest dog shit idea ever. <laughs> I mean, like, I, now I'm like act. thinking, like, is he the real killer? Like, <laughs> from, from the like. How do what is interesting about a dog's DNA? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, okay. So first, I got, we, we should. We by should the, by the way, I'm trying to I'm trying to get this in before we jump into another topic. If you want to watch the TEDx talk, go to bit.ly slash Schwood Talks. S H W O O D T A L K S. Bit.ly slash Schwood Talks. That's where you can go and watch it. Go watch it and then give Brian more uh, uh, ego. But, yeah. Puffery. No, no, yeah. please don't. He's famous <laughs> as fuck, no, you good. guys. Yeah. He's famous as fuck. So make sure that, that God he knows damn it. God damn it. talking I about just, how good it is. You guys <laughs> just realized that if you wrote and contributed to the book, that it's still, it, it oh, has it's a very long much alive. tail. It's yeah. still alive. You guys did great. I, I took some time uh, perusing the three-star reviews on, on Amazon and iTunes, and those are my favorite. <laughs> the ones that are like, uh, you know, yeah, it delivered on what you really but, want. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot of banging. That's why I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for those who don't know, uh, Kepler is. Oh, is this? Wait, what's what's going on here? I'm no. I'm just prepping different oh, things, got it, got it. and uh, one of them is a photo of a dog on an album. Oh, that's what that's what messed me up. I thought you were loading up a dog thing. No. Um, if if you don't mind, uh, for those of the uninitiated on my Instagram, you'll find some Kepler pictures. But uh, but we got a dog. Um, and I, I had always been, I'll say it, racist against some dogs. I felt like some dogs were boring, and labs were chief among them. Labs, golden retrievers. Boring is not usually a word I think people describe to dogs in the abstract. Uh, well, I mean, they're just, uh, you know, like like I like my dogs with some character, right? That's why I like as much trouble as they are. I like terriers. Those bland, those bland retrievers. <laughs> not <laughs> yes. for yes. the dog there are. They're bullshit outside, like you know, they're they're dogs. Like they chase squirrels. Like like what? Well, okay. What, what, so, what makes a dog a very personable thing? Well, I mean, okay, but but I, so I kept trying to get interesting dogs like Ollie, who turns out to have bitten the face of all three of our children, no, and then he uh, did 
not. He definitely bit one of them yeah. in the face. He did not. You gotta catch yeah, them all. He the bit Russian Callie's hand. Around. He didn't bite around. her face. Gonna eat their face. <laughs> anyway. There were no face bitings. I just want to, oh. and certainly no three <laughs> okay. children. I would have shot him in the head myself. So, <laughs> got, got, <laughs> everyone threw a hat on the ice. <laughs> so oh my God. Uh, the point was, I realized, you know what? I have kids now. We need a dog. We can trust around the kids. A that, nice, that boring, yeah, I will get bland, a vanilla dog. I, I did, I did, and and this is oh this. God, is... You're like you. Oh yeah, all these years I've been buying cigarette boats and Lamborghinis, <laughs> but now that I'm settling down, I got to get the minivan of dogs. <laughs> yes, that. that's yes! exactly it. The minivan of it's dogs. That's what labs are. Dogs. Minivans are good for families. That's why they exist. That's what I finally realized, and I fought against it for a very, very long time, and finally I realized, okay, so we, so we go out, we're looking, not looking, and 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 there's a there's a there's a batch of of lab mixed puppies, and uh, and uh, and I'm just like, Ugh, lab, all right, um, it's a, uh, and so I'm like, fine, I let the kids pick, and they're like, let's get this black lab, and I'm like, okay, and so we bring him home, and uh, I think I think right around here is the 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 first puppy picture, and he's it. adorable, and we're we all fall in love with them, and it's like, yeah, I guess I can love a boring dog. <laughs> Wait, so you're just looking at this puppy, like wandering around doing puppy things, and you're just like, yeah, I know you. You're just boring. Like, what are you gonna do? Open a spreadsheet, you stupid dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, no. Let's let's pay our taxes quarterly, huh, dog? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, and so and so uh, so Aww. we bring him home and you look uh, at that. You look at that for the for the audio listeners. This is the most adorable picture of a black a <laughs> uh, 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 lab a puppy just looking sweetly. And all Brian can think of is, yeah, you'd never juggle with knives, would you? you <laughs> <bitch>. <laughs> Well, and so, and so I, I, I came to peace with getting a minivan of, of a pup. Yeah. And then, um, uh, hey, he, let's go ahead and fill your dish with pumpkin spice and get you Uggs while we're at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so, uh, the, uh, uh anyway, we, 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 life. oh, God, look at, look at that little guy. He's a cute little puppy. Look anyway. how boring he is. No, so, Brian, so you're looking at this dog and thinking about how boring and stupid it is. All right, so, I get a lab. I get a lab, right? Uh, uh, flash forward over the next two years, we, we train him, we, uh, oh, there was one moment that um, you know, he he starts to get a little feisty and 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 wants to just. Uh, I don't know what behavior it was. He, he kept crying, and we need, wanted obedience training, so we we spent some money to have somebody training full time. And then uh uh, Bonnie, Bonnie was 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 like uh oh, it's because he was he he didn't like guys like oh he was scared were... he was scared of of of, of guys and yeah. and, would, and would be protective right and yeah. so and so Bonnie was like. <laughs> We get him back, and and the trainer was like, "Yeah, he seems scared of like adult men. Uh, real real nervous around him. He likes he likes little things. He likes girls, uh, but but adult men make him a little nervous." And Bonnie's like, "Well, I thought you know, I thought he was a lab. I thought we were gonna you know have have a friendly dog." And and the trainer says to Bonnie, "I think you have a little bit of breed expectations." Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, my eyes flared <laughs> like like. I shot lasers, except lasers don't actually shoot out of my eyes, but I would have killed her if Bonnie loses. got called oh a dog God. racist uh, for <laughs> having breed expectations oh, about like, our lab. I'm like, damn right. I bought a minivan. It better be safe on them roads. It better have cup holders for my pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> you know what? Oh that does God. sound like breed expectation now that I hear it out loud. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. A, yeah. So now flash forward a little bit farther. Uh, we're at this family reunion, and and uh, that first uh, picture that you showed, the one with uh, th there's a picture of Kepler with the rainbow behind him, and uh, I'm sitting there looking at pictures, and I go through, and I and I see uh, I I see that one, I'm like, oh, look at Kepler, because by the way, he is so. He's uh, very loyal friendly. and very friendly, and 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 listens and obeys. He's so well trained. He's he's uh, I'm proud of the young man he's become, and my mom looking over my shoulder. She goes, I don't, I don't trust him. And I'm like, what? She's like, I think, I think he's got pit bull in him. And then, wait, uh, wait, 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 yeah, he, he's got, he got one in him. He's got pit bull in him. I think pit he's pit bull in him. 
Got pit bull in him. Yeah. LA. So if I had breed expectations, she's a full on dog racist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. She's like, and, and and I was like, I was like, what do you mean? And, she, and then and then like under her breath, not to me, she's like, look at those eyes. There's evil in those eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, he's got beautiful chestnut ringed eyes. He's a beautiful dog. He's and, a, and he's it, an amazing, boring fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's he's, so it's a sweet, simple, dumb as a brick, predictable as a summer wind piece of shit, mom. Stop trying to introduce some forced element of chaos in what is obviously a placid pond. <laughs> My, mom just shakes her head and goes, evil. <laughs> and then, uh, and so, and so for, was it my birthday? Well, it was Father's it Day. It Father's Day. Shortly after. Yeah. <laughs> on Father's Day, my Father's Day gift shows up, and it is a DNA kit <laughs> from <laughs> Penny and Body. And from all the, all the girls. Uh, and so we, uh, uh, we, we swab him, and we send it in. And, and now you guys have seen the pictures, you've seen the evidence, you've heard the case both for and against. You've met this dog. You've seen him friendly. You know where he came from. We have a definitive result. How do you think this story ends, Justin Robert Young? Oh, man. If I'm going to bet the, the, the Maury, like you are not the father. Everybody uh, in the uh, chat, in fact, post, post what percentage of what dog you think Kepler is. Uh, looking at him. And by the way, if you haven't seen him, he, he looks like a black lab. Uh, uh, he's he's skinny and light. Oh, that was the other thing. I he's took very him to the vet. thin. He's very lay live. When, uh, when I took when I took him scrawny. to the vet, everybody freaked out. They're like, "Oh, he's gorgeous!" And they're like, "Does he have greyhound in him?" Yeah. And then okay. once they said that, I was like, oh, "I think he might have some greyhound in him." We're waiting on these DM uh, these DNA he's results. Kind of short hair. He's very thin. Yeah. Yeah. Is uh, he is he got a little Cherokee in him? Uh, <laughs> So we got a uh, Sun Bun says ninety nine percent Mister Mister three hundred five uh one hundred percent mutt ten percent Rottweiler twenty three percent Paps Blue Ribbon Jason, Jason, Jason Murphy Kepler is at least some pointer one hundred percent good boy fifty percent seed fifty percent weed well all right <laughs> <laughs> Brian's uh, little uh, uh, I mean to oh, me seventy five percent always lab. been a rambunctious dog so so. Yeah. Uh, not knowing dog breeds, I would suspect he is whatever the more rambunctious breed is uh, versus the more boring one. We got 75% lab, 25% boxer, um, 50% dog, 50% poop. 17, 76% freedom, which is not that math doesn't even work out. 0% APR okay. for 60 months. All right. That's a good deal. So we got we got the email, and we gathered around, and we gathered around. And uh, and we uh, uh, I think there's a link on there if you look up. Uh, okay. There we go. Up a little bit more. There you go. Just I, click I, here. I, I can work. Yeah. Yeah. So the uh, uh, we gathered around and we got the results. First of all, if you want to know, it, the first thing it tells you is wait, Kepler's wait. unique genetic signature is G T T C C C C C G G G G G G G T C C C C T G C A G G G. It's it's it's. It's literally it's DNA. Here's your DNA. Copy and paste the DNA. Just <laughs> also, by the way, I'd like to imagine that we got the results in. We all gathered around in the living room. Kepler stood up on his hind legs and spoke in perfect English. I'm glad you all were able to be gathered here so I could reveal my true form. That was a surprising uh, thing. <laughs> so uh, the results are 37%. American Staffordshire Terrier, a.k.a. Those little yappy dogs. Pitbull. <laughs> oh. <laughs> However. One of the breeds of okay, Pitbull. Okay, so we, first thing we yeah. figure out, we're like, oh, Staffordshire Terrier. That's the dominant one. Let's look up a, look up a picture of American Staffordshire Terrier. <laughs> sure. And, uh, 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 oh, you uh, can just click on the, uh, on the. So the first okay. thing I do when I call that up, and I'm just like, I'm like, God damn it, mom. Oh, that's a <laughs> <laughs> that is a pit bull, huh? Uh, uh, all right. So they're, they're like, okay, number two at 25%, chow chow. <laughs> <laughs> now, Justin, do you know what a chow chow looks like? I think they're the tiny dogs, right? They're right. the little dogs. Right. No, they're uh, this is like, <laughs> They're the big hairy dogs. They're oh, the big... look at that. <laughs> Are this? 
are they small? They're they're small. Uh, they're knee high. They're knee, knee high. high. <laughs> Twenty five inches high, very but they're nice. they're incredibly poofy, which is weird because I think of Kepler as being very short hair. Yes, yeah. yes. But 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 I'm try- I'm just imagining these are his dominant parentages, and I don't know how that relationship works. Uh, coming uh, another twelve point five. Bichon Frise. Do you know what a Bichon Frise <laughs> looks like, Justin? Isn't it, isn't it, isn't it a, a Bichon Frise? Is, is that how it's pronounced? Sure, whatever. Maybe. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's less little. than tw- it's less than a foot tall. <laughs> it's, it's a little. It's a mix of a poodle and a <laughs> spaniel. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, I love that Kepler is apparently the result of the uh, uh, the dog equivalent of the monster fuck song. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be Sean Frise wanted to get laid. <laughs> so there's, there's another A. Another another 12.5%? German Shepherd. I can see that. So the, the German Shepherd is the body, like, Body type. Like, yeah, like that's where that life comes from. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, I have, <laughs> I, I have no idea what any of this means except to say <laughs> that now do you feel better about your dog, Brian? Uh, I don't know. It's very <laughs> complicated because because uh, because now all of a sudden I'm like, well, how should I feel? Should I feel any different about my dog now that I know no, he's know. one third pit bull? <laughs> Should I be encouraging him to dance and play basketball? I don't know. Yes, yes, exactly. Oh my God. It's, uh, so anyway. So, huh. so what I thought was funny is that they showed like the parentage, like what they, they assumed happened. And they show like the German Shepherd, oh, which is a really big dog. Like getting it on with the tiny, tiny Bichon Free. <laughs> I'm like, oh. That was yeah, that, uh, by the yeah. way, here's the part that, that we go through this whole journey. Like, oh, we finally figured out all this stuff. And then and we finished with, and in that denouement of like, wow, what satisfying information we just got. And then I realize those fuckers told me he was a lab. <laughs> 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 I was going to buy a goddamn minivan. <laughs> And you ended up with the pit bull. You <laughs> no, ended up with yeah. Mr. Worldwide. So, but he does have. I knew ch- he had Chow because of his tongue, because he's got the. Oh, he's got blue on his tongue. Blue on the tongue. Blue splotches. So I knew it was that. Yeah. So anyway, uh, apparently dogs have sex, and they don't. They're not very discriminate. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't have any port in a storm, and apparently <laughs> they were all ports in a storm to make Kepler. <laughs> uh, he, he uh, port. But I, I tell you, he is. I mean. I had breed expectations, I admit it. But like, okay, so we look at his breed expectations and he totally matches. He's really loyal and he's a guard dog. Yeah. Uh, I uh. mean, he he fits the like that type. I mean, so he's, tur- he's turns a out I bought another Porsche. Sorry, lady. Mm. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, Brian, well, you've got uh, a real wild uh, dog uh, on your hands, but you know what we have? Uh, a real dog orgy of a community that we have at uh, patreon.com slash night attack heck yeah dude uh uh man uh if you want to join a dog orgy if you ever wished you were just one dog banging anything else that moved whatever size it is up down sideways or backwards you can even do it human style join us over at patreon.com slash night attack Bonnie bolted wow, out of here wow, like she was B-O, on fire. B-A, bow, wow, you be yo, you be yo, you be You can donate uh, any of your money over there, patreon.com slash night attack, where if you adjust your donation between uh, shows, you uh, can be a part of a very, very important ritual that we do every single week on this show. Isn't that right, Brian? That Yes, it's called... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of <laughs> All right. Uh we've got uh, I don't know how to <clears throat> Not a lot to work with on this one. No? Yeah. No, I assume this person is uh the name Gurp <laughs> on the run. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 from uh, from from the cops or or from uh, authorities, a, a debt collector. No, I, I think he is a cop, but he's still on the run. 
Oh wow! So he's a dirty cop. <laughs> uh, uh, he's he is he is pretty filthy, but but he's got a heart of gold and tries to do the right thing. Oh, it's, it, lethal weapon? <laughs> no, he 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 just wants to connect with his wife and child, who he hopes are still alive somewhere. Uh, yeah. After all, he, w- he woke up from a very long sleep, very confused. The Matrix? He, uh, uh, and golly, the whole world is filled with living dead. Patient Zero <laughs> from Andrew Rain? No, wherever you are, I hope you're doing okay. Rick. Rick. See, it was, See, the, it was walking the Walking dead. dead. I was going oh, for it. Oh, sure, yeah. Oh, I thought his name was on the run. Rick. Rick. <laughs> Rick. Thank you for your $1 pledge from the near future. Rick. 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 I should, I should have done. I should have done a uh, Rick and Morty reference instead. That would have made more uh, sense. We would have got that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But real quick, instead of uh... instead of uh, yeah, but, but we had a good buildup. Oh, by the way, also during also this time out. is when anybody who wants to to throw us, uh, we do we go full Twitch. They say okay. never go full Twitch. We go full Twitch. During yeah, this segment. full cam girl. So uh, get your tokens ready because yeah. we've got oh, big, big, Funcarious yeah, cheered us so for five hundred. Thank you, Funcarious. We also got a list of subscribers here: Aaron Burn Two, uh, Can I Can I Can Captain Jack, uh, J Odd Dingus Cole, Very M Beam cool. just subscribed. Thank you, M Beam. Mike Thank TV you, Live, M-Beam. Uh, Louis Forge, Lady Brains One, Alex Perth, Ren Igu, Gambling Man for four months. Thank you. You, Jack Devaney, a hundred bits. Thank you so much. Ooh. Russell Burry, Scott Max, M Beam, Kaliski, Thrumwald. Thank you, Thrum. Thank you, everybody, for giving us. Oh, Kaliski just subscribed. Uh, dude, cool. uh, man. Let me just say, can I, uh, I? For the record, I am so happy to have a source of new fans and new oxygen uh, uh, in the Twitch community. Thank you to everybody who's joined us from the outside. If we have anybody in the chat right now who who joined us by discovering us on Twitch, please pop up and say hello. Father hello. Robert! Thank you, Father oh, Robert! Thank you. <laughs> Father Robert! The Lanina, the bio cow, cattle humper. Hump those cows. Hey, cattle humper, why don't you go hump bio cow? A little matchmaking, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, obviously, I don't want to... Uh... Might be some big fun, big fun son of a gun on the bayou coming uh, to the old night attack program in the in the next few weeks. Yeah, we'll oh, see. Right. Oh, by the way, quick reminder: if you're if you're somebody who's uh, Twitch curious and you're new to the Twitch environment, uh, if you are an Amazon Prime subscriber, you can steal some money right out of Jeff Bezos's big old fat cat pockets. You yep. can walk up to the Terminator himself, grab that stash, and take yourself. $2.50 and shove it right in our face by using your Prime subscription to subscribe for free, and we'll get $2.50 boners. And if you- It's me, Jeff Bezos. I, my arms are too big. I can't reach into my pockets to protect oh, you. I'm your money, Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Bezos. I wish I could take oh, your money. My money's flying out of my pocket because I'm too busy punching things into space. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you are a paid, if you if you've never, I, I think how it works is if you've never paid us the five dollars sub. Yeah. Uh, this month that sub will only cost you two fifty. Oh, oh yeah, wait, half sub- price subs. It's that's right. It's subtober. It's half, half, half it's, price sub month. So yeah, if you've. Uh, thank you, CDI new... Games. Oh my goodness, with one hundred and fifty dollars, thank you, CDI. Wow. Wow. wow, CDI Games. By the way, taking the belt uh, so for uh, the top cheer on our channel right now. Big, big pimpin' spending cheese. <laughs> Uh, okay, guys. Uh, yeah, what's up? Someone sent me something. Today. Okay, uh oh. Is it DNA yesterday? from Kepler? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to give not it the t- results, the actual <laughs> DNA. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I got it right here. A T C G G C T. Uh, uh, this is from Ray or Dave. He goes by both names. He sent me this book uh, via email. Uh, if you've got something you want to send in, send it to mail at nightattack.tv. Um, from Rogers called. The Profanosaurus. You guys got an idea what the Profanosaurus is? Oh my god, is it is this Urban Dictionary for white people? From December 1997, it is a compiled worldwide contributions. Oh my god! Of curse words and nastiness. 
This is Urban Dictionary for white people. This is time traveling back to the 1950s and say, oh, cat's oh. pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to play. Sandman. Like, oh, you flipper gibbet. Bring me a dream. Boom, 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 boom. He's a real canard, that one. I know. And then just one dude who just says the N-word, because that was a crowd, <laughs> too. So, so we're going to go down. We're just going to look through And oddly the- enough, it's still PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good time out. Can we talk no, real we quick? No, we can't. We can't okay. do that. I, my body has been rejecting how amazing that fucking PewDiePie saying the N-word story is. I can't do it. I, I, well, I mean, you can, you're like, I can only re-eat can only my own bo- vomit so many times. It's so good. So good. <laughs> um, nom, 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 uh, by the way, I, I encourage everybody uh, to watch Jesus and Mero on Vice, but uh, their segment on the PewDiePie thing was was exceptional. Uh, uh, go watch. I don't, I don't want to rip it off because it involves a lot of the N-word, and that's kind of where the comedy is, and I'm not going to say it. Because, as we all know, the hard R on camera will get you every time. If everyone wants to know, hey, how do you have a career in podcasting and live streaming? Here's your first lesson. The hard R on camera. It'll get you 100% of the time. That's it. Just stay away <laughs> hey, from that one. Hold on. Live on the scene, we have a sea captain who's never made it in podcasting. Why did you never make it? Arr. No, sorry. <laughs> I love, you know what? No, that's good. That's a good way to end the bit with a dad joke. Okay. No, no. Okay. The only good appro- response from white people. Boom, 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 boom. We're back to the bit. So, so I've got this dictionary here. We're going to play. We're going to go back and forth, and we're going to play, uh, I don't know what it's called. Guess who's closest. I'm going to give you a, a name from, a term from this dictionary. Okay. Uh, the Profanosaurus, and you're both going to give me a definition, and whoever's closest is going to get a point. Man, I I very rarely call a shot on in this kind of segment, but oh, really? I feel like I have a pretty, I don't know if I'm at an advantage or disadvantage, because late 90s means that the material would have been collected from the early 90s when I was a teenager, but yeah. Justin was also five. Yeah. yeah, I was five for most of the early 90s. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let me. That may be the first printing, by the way. Let me see if, if he gave me an actual. Although I will year. say this, uh, uh, Profanosaurus sounds like something that like the office secretary keeps. It's, it's like, <laughs> oh, that's another one in the Profanosaurus for you, Greg. <laughs> it's it sounds like something. Uh, uh, oh fuck, I can't remember his name. That's uh, Rich So and So did after Sniglets, the Profanosaurus. <laughs> oh god. Uh, all right, no, I think this is the I first edition Sniglets. of this. Uh, <laughs> Bonnie. Bonnie. Well, I wish you could have seen the visual of Bonnie just leaning back on her phone going like, I love Sniglets. <laughs> I drive a minivan. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rich Hall. Rich Hall. Thank you, Ben Forgot. Uh, so we're going to start with you, Brian. I yeah. want you to tell me what you think an almond is. <sighs> that's that white milk. And there are, That's skeet there's... skeetin'. That's an almond is when you nut on a wrinkled old butt <laughs> that looks like an almond. <laughs> That's an almond. So well, it's 1997, and I'm and about to never, pull an almond. We haven't invented the word cream pie yet. <laughs> no, because this is on it. <laughs> I got a busted almond. All right, Justin. He said a nut on a butt. <laughs> yeah, but specifically, no, a it's a reference to the white is milk it's official of guess. Uh. Uh, an almond, I'm going to say, is. Mm, yeah, uh, uh, so it, it's not ejaculate. It is an, a, a, a testicle. An almond is a testicle. It's a testicle. All right. Uh, according to the Profanosaurus, almond is either. Uh, a a penis from the rhyming slang almond rock cock, or uh, two an imperial measure of semen, approximately one stomach full. Oh, I'm gonna call. That's, I got. I mean, that's that's a Brian. All in Brian. favor. Brian's got it. Yeah. Brian's got it. Boom. Mm. Oh, 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 hey man. Oh, oh, oh. In, Mr. In, Sandman, <laughs> almond on my face. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
Uh, in true Brian fashion, I'm getting him right for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> all right, we're going to start. Oh, no, by the way, Open Bayou points out one stomach full? <laughs> like, Jesus. That's like a lot. That was I, mean, a I mean, considering you could drink half a gallon of milk before you puke, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, that's... Oh, yeah, there were urban legends about Rod Stewart having his stomach pumped of, of, of an almond. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to start with Justin. Yeah. <laughs> An almond of alley soup. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that they pull it into the, the doctor sees him and uh and he's like uh oh never mind, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Okay. No. Tell me uh what gick is. G I C K Gick. It is an uh, tell Is me this all gonna become? <laughs> no, it's not. Uh I'm going to say gick is 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 a, a ball sweat. It's a ball sweat to the to the sweat yeah, drop. Yeah, some balls. some real sweaty uh, uh, nethers, uh, real some real stank down there. Mm, all right, Brian. Oh, musk, a <clears throat> little bit, a little bit of a uh, 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 God's uh, God's morass. <laughs> we get it, smegma. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, what's what's it like in God's morass? <laughs> God's morass is what they call uh, the old uh, uh, sweaty swingers. Sweaty shirts. So, so after a couple finishes engaging with another couple, and they joyfully smile at each other, high five their sweat glistening bodies, and they're like, "We truly are God's morass." We are God's morass. And now, please join hands as we pray. Oh, gick. gick. Dear Lord, please bless this gick. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. So, so Justin says ball, uh, ball juice, ball sweat, <laughs> ball spice melange. <laughs> <laughs> the ball spice melange extends life. It extends consciousness. Um, I'm gonna say gick. G i c k. Gick 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 gick. Is is a low tier affordable swill of a drug it's some form of getting high oh okay like a cheap a cheap uh, like cheap like like jankum oh, or, uh, or or it's like you know you, you, I need you to describe you, you, this drug for me uh, okay uh what you do <laughs> let me tell y'all how you make some gick okay please do <laughs> all right listen first of all you steal your dad's perk sets and you cut them with your dad's Viagra. That's new because it's the <laughs> early late nineties. Right. Oh my god! And then you then you then you, you you cut it with a little bit of a uh, uh, floss ribbon. Uh, the wax in it gets you real messed up. Oh, and then you you rub it on God's morass. <laughs> you 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 you, uh, uh, you inhale the fumes, and and uh, your life subsumes. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then uh, eat gick. legumes. <laughs> How long does Geek last? Inhale the fumes and never retombs. <laughs> Re- never retombs? <laughs> like you're a mummy? Like, and like you would do to Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody retomb that man. <laughs> He's running away. <laughs> no, you can't catch me. I'm not going back God, in there. I'm not being retombed. I got my Geek. <laughs> what that's, is it? That, 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 that's that, the, 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 the rejected slapstick ending to the Cask of Amontillado. By- <laughs> <laughs> the last brick goes in, and he drinks Kool-Aid bus out. <laughs> Free tomb that man! <laughs> and he like, jumps in the water and pops out, and a big titty lady's running behind him. <laughs> Someone retombed this man. <laughs> I'm gonna, I have to give this one to Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Gick uh, means shit. Gick uh, gig oh. means shit. <laughs> so there you go. It's not a club drug <laughs> that you cut with ball sweat. It is just shit. Oh. Oh. All right, so I'm going to give that one to Justin right here. Uh, let's scroll down here a little bit. <laughs> and then a titty fell out. <laughs> uh, uh, Brian, starting with you. You oh. good? You ain't putting me back in that tube. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, tell you me what. Aren't they me, Mister? Oh, Mix man. it, tomb left. <laughs> Hold on, it hurts. It hurts. Give me a second. <laughs> okay. <All right. clears throat> yes. Tell me, tell me what Horatio is. <laughs> <laughs> Horatio 
is Cockney rhyming slang for fellatio. <laughs> Damn it. I was going to say the same thing, but it was like Horatio Hornblower. Right? Like, <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, you know what Cockney rhyming slang is, right, Bonnie? Uh, uh, yeah, no, it's like like uh, uh, like like Barney is trouble because it's Barney rubble trouble like. Uh, yeah, well, it's like you take the word. Man, somebody's going to really be upset who speaks Cockney rhyming slang. Yeah. But like you take the word that you mean to say. And you substitute it for another word that rhymes with that word. So, okay. uh, like, there's a movie called It's All Gone Pete Tong. Pete Tong is a famous DJ. So okay. instead of saying it's all gone wrong, and the movie was about a DJ, uh, so they say it's so all gone, gone Pete, Pete Tong. Pete Tong. Right. Uh, so yeah. I, I think Horatio, like, like, oh, man, he's giving a little, a little bit of Horatio, no. you know, like that. Can you, can well, you say it? But I mean, it's a Cockney rhyme. So if you were, if you were a Cockney, <laughs> if you're out there rhyming, oh, <laughs> I just love it. It always starts with a little bit of a. Oh. Oh. Well, that's the. Uh, uh, you gotta oh, settle oh. in. That, 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 that's just him burping. He's just <laughs> burping the mechanism before it starts to work. Oh. Come on. Oh. Hang on, love. <laughs> Hang on, love. I come back from sweeping in chimneys, and you're off uh, giving him a ratio. Oi. <laughs> Oi, oh man, you almost had it. Oh. You almost had a, it was really good. I was, that's a, oh. Okay, all right. Oh, I think it was great. That's a classic domestic dispute. Of, of a I mean, it's a hardworking chimney sweep who comes home yeah. to discover his wife's giving her a show. Oh, yeah, and you're yelling that. You're explaining the scene and not like, Oi, I walked in and you two are having a ratio. Right oh, now, that time we shot the yoke of an ratio. <laughs> true story. British shark quit the next day. <laughs> uh, 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 all right. Uh, I, I, I think I like somebody in the chat room said that the Horatio is the whore ratio of a <laughs> gaggle of women. So if there's five uh, uh, and three of them are whores, the whore ratio is three out of five. Three out of five. Jesus. Uh, well, Justin, I'm sorry to say. Brian got it right on the nose. Whoa! Wow! Posh, a posh Latin term used by doctors for oral sex on a man. Oh, oh. man. Wow. Wait, so wait. I could have so right? gone no, 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 no. for the wrong reasons. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, I got to ask, why is it a doctor's term? Like, don't they use clinical terms? Like, why would they be saying, like, wait, yeah, posh Latin, Latin term, term used by doctors? By doctors? It was the 90s. Yeah, no, in, in old Latin scrolls, it's like uh, E pluribus unum, uh, Horatio on that dude. Well, you've, you've all been there. It's like you, um, uh, <laughs> it, you, <laughs> you walk know. in and your yeah. junk examine, and the doctor walks in, and he's just like, he's just like hang on now. <laughs> Looks to me like you had a bit of Horatio. <laughs> <laughs> Also, by the way, very, now that we've realized it's a posh Latin term, we're sticking with Cockney rhyming slang. That was my joke. <laughs> so, so I go to the gynecologist, and then, and then she says, "Oh, looks like you got a little ang angina." Angina. <laughs> I'm like, wouldn't that be really bad? Isn't that like something Didn't else? Did she write the good earth? <laughs> Hold on, I like the idea of your gynecologist having a shrill Cockney accent. Have her ask you about whether or not you give Horatio. Oh, wait, I don't know. Now that you put a spotlight on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right, here, here, a slice of life. Bonnie, uh, you're, for whatever reason, your gynecologist, who is a shrill Cockney accent, <laughs> is asking you whether or not you've given Horatio and go. Have you given a ratio lately? No. You see? But that was a little Jewish. <laughs> <That's> awful. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Have you been giving a little Horatio, maybe? Oh, you're giving a little Horatio, maybe. A little bit of Horatio. I mean, it would not be the worst. But now just... I sound like Auntie Donna. <laughs> <laughs> not, like, not, not really. Yet. Maybe. <laughs> you sound like something. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the... Uh, uh... I, I see you, apparently, as Bonnie's guy. Gynecologist, I like that snatch, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I like that snatch, mate. Oh, oh my Justin, gosh. I want you to tell me what an Olivia, an Olivia is. Olivia. 
Oh, I, well, and, and Olivia is definitely Cockney rhyming slang for Olivia Newton John. So it's a when you're getting a blowjob on the toilet. <laughs> All right, BJ on the on the on the number two. I'm gonna. Say... <laughs> oh, it doesn't even rhyme. It's still Olivia. That's the thing is, it's not, the rhyming bit has been lost. No, it's Olivia Newton John. That that's unsaid, but it's like like a nut in while you're on the John. Oh. <laughs> Olivia Nut on John. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! How did I not follow that? Jesus. <laughs> oh, Let's get physical, God. Brian. Bring it <laughs> on. Um. Okay. Uh. I man. Uh, um, uh, Can I go? Yeah, please. It's the chub you get when you're watching uh, uh, aerobics. An aerobic <laughs> chub. Right. I'm gonna go with that. It's an involuntary chub while you watch aerobics featuring not Olivia Newton-John, but uh, but uh, the, the chick from Barbarella. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I have to give that one to Justin. An Olivia is to have sex with several filthy tramps on piss stained mattress. Wow, that was so all close. Once. Right for the wrong reasons, bro. Right for the wrong reasons. Wait a minute, hold on. That had to have a term. I'm glad there's a term for it, right? It's like when you find out a bunch of crows are a murder, you're like, well, I guess I'm, I'm glad that there's finally a name for all the times I've had sex with several filthy tramps on a piss stained mattress. Wait, in my mind, I, I would like to imagine it's two bros sitting there at a party and they're like, oh man, the other night I was having, um, um, what's the word? What, what, what's the word when you have sex with several Filthy tramps on a piss stained mattress. All and the guy goes, Olivia. All and you're like, oh, yes, I was having Olivia. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, where the fuck did these come from? Do we know where these are from? Uh, they're these from are, the, the... these are from England. These are, are sourced oh. through their website, viz.co.uk, I believe. I didn't it's... realize they were all English. Uh, yeah, oh. on, yeah, on some level. Uh, so it's, it's, it's... <laughs> I mean, we're all English at some level, right? <laughs> right? It's, they're all white people. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, BioCal asks, well, what's the term for sex with one tramp on a piss stained mattress? That's just an Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turns out the VI is Roman numerals for how many people you had sex <laughs> after how that. How many tramps you're having sex <laughs> with on that piss stained mattress? <laughs> you have an Ollie, a VIA. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's it, it's VI Roman numeral one for what was done on that mattress before you <laughs> had sex one. with all the strap. <laughs> oh, gross. Okay, we're starting with Brian. Brian. Oh, Jesus, J. King, 206. The dossier just reads, Trump had an Olivia on that <laughs> Russian bed. All right, Brian. Hmm. I want you to tell me about... Tardis Fanny. <sighs> Say it again. Tardis Fanny. Okay. You know what this is? This is this is a butt that's bigger on the inside. You uh you get in that and <laughs> it's just loose as oh. can be. That's a Tardis Fanny. Oh. A large <laughs> loose a large Rectum. loose but specifically one that loose looks tight caboose. you're at the club you're at the club and you're like oh damn look at that tight ass fanny and you get her in the room and you get in bigger on the inside okay <laughs> juice um, i think it is a a woman who has had uh, many successive transforming drivers. Uh, <laughs> it's a rotating cast of characters, <laughs> the likes of which uh, uh, you would normally not see. It's something that had run that long. <laughs> the English version of the community chest. Uh, exactly, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. We have in America. Also, remember, uh, uh, Fanny in England is the vagina. Mm. Well, unfortunately, mm. Justin... Oh, Brian, no! Brian got it right on oh the head. Oh my god! A deceptively head. spacious snatch, <clears throat> or a bargain bucket, which I think a bargain bucket. <laughs> bargain bucket. This, this dictionary is very self-referential and just like that's referred. what QV means, right? Is is, so. is see this other thing? Yeah, because yeah. snatch is in here. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. Here. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> start a snatch. <laughs> bargain bucket. <laughs> All right, wow. Justin. Yeah. Fanny. Wait, wait. So this is like a, 
a chat room? Nope. No, these are submissions. These have been submitted to. This is actually, a yeah, this is uh, from oh. the royal family. This is official. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, these are overheard at Buckingham Palace. By yeah. the way, oh, Buckingham is called B U C K I N. G H I M. Oh, I want to know what what the <laughs> term. <clears throat> I want to know what the term beef eater means in this. It, it depends. <laughs> they they guard the they guard the palace, Bonnie. Jesus. Yeah, they, <laughs> and they never smile, no matter what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I've had one of those. No, I'm just what? kidding. What? <laughs> Jesus. Mm. Just. Mm. just doing just <laughs> thinking of one particular so glad i met you brian you smile a lot you know initially i thought you were kind of the minivan of husband but to... <laughs> turns out you're zero percent lab <clears throat> turns uh, out you're chow chow where it counts <laughs> no oh, oh. Brian. sorry all right uh, oh, I lost it. Oh, no. Here we go. Justin, tell me about a stoat. Stoat. S-T-O-A-T. A stoat. A stoat. Uh, a stoat is a, uh, uh, a, a very uh, sturdy yet stubby penis. Like it, 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 it's like, uh, like one of the uh, dwarves from Lord of the Rings. Like it's just it's not very big, but it can wield an axe. Sure, old dependable. Uh dude, no, yeah. that's 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 the gooch. That's the taint. Also, aka the stoat. That that spot between your balls and your butt. So it's like, yeah, you can only get to my butt if you pass the stoat. <laughs> Lower the drawbridge to the stoat. Uh, that's, I mean, it's stoat is r- Latin for stinky moat. <laughs> That's what Padre S.J. says. So. Yeah. <laughs> he knows Latin, man. He knows Latin. Uh, I'm going to give this one to Justin because he described genitalia. Stoat is a beaver or a hairy clam. Oh. Oh. You notice hairy clam doesn't you have know, a You know, I was in the middle it. of an Olivia <laughs> when this one tramp had a stoat you wouldn't believe. Yeah, because like a stoat is like a, an animal. It's is like it? a, it's like is a it? beaver. D- describe, or something. describe a stoat. A stoat is like a hairy clam. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got a picture of some stoats right here. Oh, they're adorable. Yeah, uh, yeah they all look like vaginas. Uh, the, wow, we just got kicked off of Twitch for these images. Looks like uh, uh, really? Kepler was actually two percent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they like to ride on the backs of things. Is what's happening in some of these photos. Goddamn right. right. <laughs> Oh, that's those are cute. Oh. Yeah. Aww. Cute. I want a stoat. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie, the magic was inside you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, we're gonna start with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want you to tell me, not I want you to tell me about Passion Pit and not the band slash wonk pop uh, songwriter Passion Pit. Ah, uh, that is. I mean, that's got to be a vagina, right? Yeah, I'll call it a vagina. You say it's a vagina, the passion pet. Uh, you, you know uh, what? Uh, and, and I'm gonna be inclusive. So it might be a, a gay dude's butt. That's inclusive. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, uh, anyone who receives someone's passion, it goes into the passion pit. Okay. Uh, uh, I am going to say, it is the den in which. The magic happens. You, 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 yeah, you, you, you're gonna bring the Olivia back to your passion pit. Oh Jesus! I, I can have some stoat. I think it's the, um, the uh, cleavage. The cleavage, cleavage. You think passion you think it's pit. like for for nothing on the tits? You say I put it's, it in the passion pit. It's either that or it's the existential capacity for true happiness. <laughs> uh, either that or a fuck a uh, fuck pad. <laughs> Uh, Justin, I'm going to give this one to you. A passion pit is a bed. Oh. oh. See also Dutch oven. <laughs> Dutch oven? <laughs> a, I, uh, uh, one moment, please. Uh, all right. All right. How about here, here we go. This one for all the marbles. Uh, one, one, uh, 10,000 points here for this last one. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. What is this? Quidditch? Uh, yeah, for 10. <laughs> what is this, Quidditch? <laughs> unless, unless here, actually, Bryce, uh, uh, if you have enough, we could do a, a lightning round where, where uh, e- each one of us just has to go super fast. Okay, yeah, and if you're close enough, I'll say if you get a point or not. All right, uh, I'm just going to go down the list. 
Uh, Brian. Mm. Or I'm sorry, this one's for Justin. Mm. Tell me what... Oh, God, I can't say that. Tell me what a... Uh, tell, me, tell me what an Irish shave is. Uh, uh, Irish shave is when uh, you shave your balls with whiskey. <laughs> uh, I think it's when... Or, or no, no, wait. I guess he's uh, It's lightning round. Yeah. Uh, shave your balls with whiskey. I'll give it to you. An Irish shave is taking a dump. Irish shave is a dump. I'm sorry. Shaving your balls with whiskey equals a dump in what capacity? In my pr it's proprietary knowledge. On the <laughs> <laughs> I'll not question the quiz master. <laughs> Brian, I want you to tell me what's a dauber. A dauber? Yeah. Dauber. Oh, that's a uh, uh, that's that's somebody who uh, you who... gave dauber a sock. <laughs> <laughs> it's somebody who uh, who who uh, a wanker, a wanker, a dauber, uh, somebody who, who touches his dick. I'll give that to you. A dauber is a semi-erect penis. So you did give it a sock, huh? Yeah, yeah, right on. Justin dobbing right now. <laughs> uh, Bonnie, uh -huh. you have 10 seconds. Okay. I want you to tell me what a carpenter's dream is. <laughs> um, oh, man, I got a this. A giant one. deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll give that to you. Oh. Uh, if only because you kept the metaphor. A sexually promiscuous woman, as in flat as a board and easy to screw. Ah. 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 All right, continuing the lightning round. Justin, I want you to tell me what is... Uh, what is a blart? <laughs> <laughs> a blart? A blart. Blart's in here. Guys, blart is in here. A blart, of course, is a bloody fart. <laughs> uh, and here I thought it was the reason <laughs> that you subscribed to stars. <laughs> that did happen, but that was Blart too. Uh, uh, I don't think I don't think I'm allowed to give you a point. A Blart is a female vagina. <laughs> well, now, hold on, <laughs> that that is capable of creating Justin's explanation of what a Blart was. I just love your it, 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 so it, it's a vagina, also a collective of women. Golly gosh, this pub is heaving with blart. <laughs> terrible word. Uh, uh, Brian, hmm. tell me, tell me what a what a banjo is. A banjo? <laughs> oh, that's a that's a move. When okay, you're making out with her. Uh, okay. you're kissing her neck, and she's uh, facing away from you, and you reach down. And with your fingers, you start diddling, going doo 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 doo. doo. <laughs> so you're like you're grabbing a tip, but you're also got fingers working down below. That's the banjo. Uh, I don't. Uh, I, I think. I think. I know. I can't get points. I'm gonna say it's uh, Steve Martin's far less interesting side hobby. <laughs> uh, I can't give you that one, Brian. Banjo. Uh. On the penis, the thin ridge of skin connecting the polo neck to the Bobby's helmet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, the real estate downstairs just expanded greatly. I have what? The thin ridge of skin connecting the polo neck to the Bobby's helmet. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. That the works. Little, the little chicken, the polo necks, little chicken yeah. dangle. That tracks. That tracks. Yeah. All right. Going on. All right. Uh, Bonnie. Yes. Tell me what Lotties are. Lotties? L-O-T-T-I-E-S. Lotties just sound like breasts to me that maybe are a little flabby. <laughs> <laughs> flabby, flabby breasts. Tits. <laughs> Show me flabby tits. <laughs> Lotties are breasts. <laughs> ah, you did it. <laughs> Yay. Legit. She's right. on the board. All right, last round. This is for uh, seven points. We'll go. Everyone's going to get one more. It's worth seven points. You can win or not. Justin, tell me what a loon pipe is. <laughs> A a loon pipe. <laughs> Sorry, it's a, I got I got I got a sickness. I'm not sounding. A loon pipe. L O O N pipe. Okay, a loon pipe. Loon pipe. Is dick so great they drive the bitches crazy. <laughs> oh, like oh. like a loon. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I, uh, like I got I got that loon pipe, son. <laughs> bitches be going cuckoo for cocoa puffs for this D. <laughs> Oh, I love the fact that we've been filthy all this, but you say the word D. Yeah. Oh no, they're going nuts, man. They're, they're signing up for credit cards they don't need. Like they're just, they're really just, they're going. It's a freak show when they get on this uh, loon pipe. Mm, Justin, you're still in the lead, but I can't give you loon pipe. A loon pipe is an anus. 
So you did not. Aiden! Feud. All right, Bonnie, since you're in third place, they're going to give you a chance. You could you could win it, oh. possibly. <laughs> I want you to tell me what... Uh, I want you to tell me what a... This is a very long dictionary, everybody. I just want everyone to know I'm Man, doing this Look, that's good, because we're going to do this bit all month long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I want you to tell me... <laughs> Blood fart. <laughs> All right. Here, okay. Here we go. Uh, tell me what a plinth is. Plinth is oh. a distance. Or it could also. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Use it in a sentence. Plinth. The uh, distance between a man's plank and the woman's receiving it. <laughs> plinth. The it's a plinth. Like uh, two like points, you, you three points. You sure I've all closed the plinth. Right. <laughs> right now the plinth's about ten meters. I'm going to flash ten my tits <laughs> and get him ten, over closer. Ten Peters. <laughs> is he telling her this on walkie-talkie? Why is he so far away? <laughs> over. <laughs> like the other parts of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Have the helmsman measure the plinth. <laughs> Uh, it could also, uh, Alex. People are saying it's 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 pronounced plinth, but it has an e on the end. Uh, I can't give you points for that, Bonnie. Aww. Plinth is a large and somewhat redundant penis. Redundant. <laughs> redundant. What do you mean by redundant? Because you're busy sucking another knob. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. That's a large and rather redundant <laughs> penis. I'm I'm oh. fine, sir. I <laughs> go well on fit in my loon pipe. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, Brian. Right, penis is, is my favorite. This is rapper. it, Brian. Okay, all if right. You, if you get this, you will get enough points to overtake Justin. You win. And you could win. Hmm. All right. If not, you're just going to blart yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to tell me. <laughs> Andre SJ in the chat pipes up with, My penis is always redundant. <laughs> His dick I belongs to Jesus. I just look up the word redundant. I, uh, Are you seeing the word redundant, right? Forget the life. My dad watches this show sometimes, but now I'm feeling embarrassed. <laughs> we classed it up. We brought a priest on. <laughs> oh, okay. Brian. Yes. I want you to tell me, for all the points, mm. what a Sherman is. <laughs> oh, man. Sherman. Sherman. <laughs> All right, clear it out. Brian, talk it through. This is it. This is the end of the game. I mean, it's got to be a reference to Sherman Tank, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, and what what would you do that's like a just a just a Sherman? I would say to to drill someone uh, with an unstoppable force and to ejaculate in a way that causes the Nazis to fall and Winston <laughs> Churchill to give a very rousing speech <laughs> and Americans to become smug and certain that they all, it's only happening because that of was... their t superior technology. So your just just to be clear, your answer <laughs> is a wank so hard that it triggers VE day. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I, I wasn't thinking a wank. I was thinking some kind of sex act with, 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 with extreme force. Just for force. all the points, I'm going to need, I'm gonna need <sighs> specificity here. And in fact, act it out. Like, like <laughs> use it in, like, uh, uh, okay. uh with... right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he's standing up. He's pulled up a, a piece of baffling. <laughs> now I'm baffled. <laughs> so, okay, he's driving. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, does this involve oh, a fist? Oh, my goodness. Or a different body part? <laughs> he's, he's plowing in like a, like a treaded tank. I think it might be fisting. I'm gonna go with fisting. <laughs> He's changed his so, mind. Wow, all right, so you went Big from change. nutting so hard during a sex act <laughs> that the specter of Winston Churchill and smug Americans appear in your yeah. vision to fisting. Yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. just ended World War II in, uh, in Europe. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, all right, so, okay. so use it in a sentence. <laughs> with, with, with the accent. My, uh, <clears throat> My book report on my grandfather. He told me where he was on VE Day. He said, give it a good Sherman. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, also, I guess my grandpa wrote a book. 
<laughs> That's why I'm getting this report. Yeah, well, I'm I just a little boy in modern day giving a book report about my grandfather. <laughs> this took place back in, in World War II. <laughs> uh, the Diamond Club. Uh, a a plus. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond Club hopes you've enjoyed this program. <laughs> Brian. All right, here we go. Uh, Bryce, uh, uh, Bryce is now furiously tallying everything up, uh, uh, taking every syllable into consideration, trying to figure out whether or not Brian <laughs> will indeed be the winner of the the, the Profanosaurus uh, game. Uh, we, he has now emerged. White smoke has uh, uh, erupted from the chimney. Bryce, what is the final ruling? <laughs> Ah! You you were so close. I'm really I really thought you were going to get it, especially because you were big on Cockney rhyming earlier. Oh. Sherman is a rhyming slut. When you have sex with Herman. <laughs> <laughs> no, for masturbating. Oh, okay. Tank oh, to wank. Tank wank. Uh, uh, so for that, to be honest, to be honest, um, oh. I thought you might have been. Because I said to drill so hard, and I meant the sex act, but I noticed that you projected onto it. You're like, oh, a wank that causes, and like the mere fact that you took I, it that I direction. I swore you said masturbate or wank or something. Uh, why I thought that, but. but uh, by the way, Mike TV <laughs> says Ethel Merman. <laughs> oh. And so <laughs> Sherman Herman Kane. Oh. But when when they're like so, a cartoon so, so dog. Ted Cruz was having a Sherman when he accidentally <laughs> liked the wrong Twitter account. Oh my god. I think there was like a, a cartoon it's the British... ghost of current event jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? I don't know this one. Oh my god, Ted Cruz publicly liked on his main Twitter account a porn from a, a an account called what? Sexual videos. Sexual posts. Sexual. Wait, did you not see this? Nope. Uh, breaking like news. A solid. It, I was on his Twitter account for a solid like four hours. A a liked uh, a post that was like uh, a woman who looks like Ted Cruz's wife, by the way. <gasps> uh, Which, by the uh, way, looking at a younger couple having sex. Ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, in, in, in explicit detail. And it, yeah, it was like a two minute clip of, oh, of yeah, um, pornography. Wait. Oh, so on his activity, he on his likes. likes that. Yeah. But he liked another tweet, right? So it's He liked that tweet. That is the a tweet. tweet was the the clip. Got it. Yeah. So um huh, I don't know how to feel about that because yeah. it might be like I I am convinced that a bunch of people like my stuff because have you ever gone to click like on a thing and then just something next comes in your feed and you and and then that's what mm. you hit? No. Really? You've never, you've never, you've never well, decided you use to tweet deck, which like scrolls around for you automatically. Yeah, which I don't use. Okay, okay, yeah. No, uh, uh, tweet deck. It's like a river. It just also it's like it's, the chat room. It's like right. if I wanted to try to like one of these comments down in the chat, mm -hmm. I would have to time it, and then I like reach in, and then it's like I'm gonna touch it, and then you just uh, oh, I clicked the wrong one. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Uh, I would, uh, I would like to do a little PSA though. Hmm. Oh. If you're a public figure, that maybe you should have a separate Twitter account that you can watch your porn on. Well, but. So this is they're, they're saying it was a staffing issue, which which probably is not no, a bad not. play. I mean, I mean, you think he does his own Twitter? I think I, he, I, I, I think don't he... think he has Twitter on his phone. I I, I I do not think that he seems like the super Twitter savvy fellow who's like, not only do I get all my news and I can connect to my constituents, but there's porn up in this bitch. <laughs> Ted is a happy boy. Sherman all night long, baby. I love I love this these two lines in the WAPO article. And twice that morning, reporters asked him if he himself was the liker. No, Cruz said quietly as he finally walked away. As he That's finally <laughs> walked away. You could end an America, a great American novel with that. <laughs> as he walked away. Uh, but I can tell you how we're going to end this game by telling Justin, who at five points, that he is the winner. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Well earned. Tell you what. It was close, though. Close hey, game. Ash. Piss on the mattress and invite some friends. We're we're going full Olivia tonight. <laughs> oh. oh, I Man. just don't have the energy for it. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night, Bonnie. Bye. Bye. Uh, so. Uh, hey, man.
Yeah. Shall we do a little bit of a diamond time? Oh, yes, indeed, Brian. If you would like to shout out your project right here on this show, then head on over to reddit.com uh, slash r slash diamond club. That is where you will find a sticky post right up there at the top. You can uh, shout out whatever project you gosh darn well, well please, and the top three get red. The first is Ganoush. Hey there, chat realm. It's Ganoush. Yeah, I'm still around. What? I didn't know you left. Jeez. Way to point that out. Uh, some of you might uh, be aware that Destiny, True, Destiny 2 dropped last Wednesday. If you're like me, you've been playing it every hour possible since then. I thought it'd be fun to see if we could gather all the chat realms that love Destiny and have Xbox One uh, that would love to raid with somebody who knows what DIAF means. If you're interested, search Xbox Clubs for Destiny Diamond Club or just go here, you lazy bastard. YOLO420.com slash Destiny Swag. I also started a clan. Join up, and you get extra rewards from the team. That is yolo420.com slash swag. Also, what a great time to plug that I've started streaming, and I intend to stream the hell out of Destiny 2. That is twitch.tv slash theganoush. Uh, love you all, and when the hell is the next 10-second film festival? Oh, man, okay. dude. That might be one that, but if there's ever, like, a, a particular moment that we feel like the spotlight's on us, we really want to showcase the best that, that Diamond Club has, we'll definitely do a 10-second film festival. We'll make a big noise about it beforehand. Hell yeah. Jay Hammond C writes, Brian asked me to put this in here. Yeah, because I told you to put it in here the first time, and then you posted it in the general, and I'm like, go post it in here. Uh, he says, Jay Hammond C says, are you or someone you know struggling with addiction or currently in recovery? Sa uh, Hammond Chamberlain from Beyond the Playlist and Soundography is launching a new podcast. The new show will provide not only information and education, but also be a supportive community. He is incredibly excited to be starting the Climb Out to Sobriety podcast. This weekly podcast will give you personal stories of inspiration, tools to help you continue on your sober living path no matter where you are in the process, and information from therapists who have been working in the field for over 20 years. Our goal is to create an online sober living community with the support you want, the tools you need, and the inspiration to keep moving forward at your toughest moments. Climb Out to Sobriety launches this week. Uh, check out our show at climboutnetwork.com. We're so excited to have you become a part of our community and share your stories to help others succeed. That is Climb Out to Sobriety. Uh, I had dinner with uh, uh, Jay Hammond C, and, and he explained some of the philosophy behind it. I just loved it. Like, so much of sober living stuff is this, this horseshit guilting you, saying it's your failing, you have to try really hard, and if you slip back, oh, let me take away your coins. Yeah, you had a thousand-day coin, now you get a one-day coin, loser, you, you moral failing. Uh, I, I really like that, that he is putting together a community without any judgment, no matter where people are, whether it's you want to drink less or, or you, you've been sober or you've never had a drink and you just want to tell people it's pretty rad to be totally sober. I think that's a, that's a great thing to do. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to have another drink of my beer. Oh, there we go. And finally, Charlie the Geek writes, hello, fellow geeks. My name is Charlie Hoover. And I've recently started a podcast called The Multiverse Cafe, where I get game masters and dun dungeon masters to share war stories from their campaigns. Right now, I'm just trying to record as many as possible, so I'm looking for guests. General idea is you have to have a basic background and then tell any story that's under 20 minutes or so, uh, give or take. So if you always wanted to share anecdotes from behind the scenes, D or from behind the DM screen, this is your chance. Multiverse, sorry, it it's HTTP colon slash slash multiverse.cafe. It's got all the details in the form to sign up. Thank you in advance. Of course, Diamond Time is where you can shout out your projects. Head on over to reddit.com slash r slash diamond club. Talk about whatever you want inside the Diamond Club there, but also shout out your projects at the sticky post at the top. Yeah, uh, man, <clears throat> I, I have a headache from laughing so hard. I keep having to wipe these tears of, of laughter out of my eyes. Um, uh, we, we don't we don't have any movie draft update, right? Uh, no, but there is an, a manual movie draft update. Next Monday is going to be the movie draft right after Spoiler in Time. If you watch live, it will be in the Cord Killers feed. Uh, we've already we've got movies. We're working on getting the final list of teams. Uh, check out CordKillers.com if you want the list of all the movies that are coming up. Uh, make sure you join us Monday. That is the 17th. I want to say that is, I'm sorry, the 18th, Monday, September 18th. Uh, live on Monday night to watch the movie draft live, and we're gonna have a lot of friends, and it's gonna be a good time. Yeah, Justin and I, not the same team. Different teams. We're on different teams. Yeah, wait, wait. Who's on my team? You pick. Who do I choose? Yeah, you, you got an open slot, want. son. 
people. Who's going to be my tag team partner? Mm. 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 I could be on your team, too. I'll be on everyone's no, team, so can't. I could say, oh, oh, no, I can't. Illusion. Oh, oh all right, all right. Uh, but we are also going to have uh, Mike Newman has, has said that he's he wants to be in. We're going to have Team Frog Pants. We're doing teams for winter. I don't know if we've mentioned Yeah, yeah, oh, show. that's right. Teams. Yeah, We've never done teams before, but uh, but I think it's worth doing. That's right. Um, so. Yeah, so it'll be me. And uh, <laughs> so here's the game plan is uh, Tom Merritt is going to make a giant list, a giant spreadsheet of whatever the expected value of everything is, and I'm just going to shout, $100 on The Last Jedi, and then re- reducing all that to cinders. And then that's it. Uh, oh, we do have a piece right. of news. We, we do have to legislate something right here. What? Because I didn't text Justin about this, because I forgot. Uh, uh, it, it was decided by certain people Uh-oh. about uh, the positioning of Star Wars Episode Eight. Oh, yeah. Uh, people were asking... Somebody asked us yesterday on Cord Killers. They said, hey, The Last Jedi, will it go first automatically the way the uh, episode because, seven did. The, the way episode seven did? Because you did that for episode seven, but you didn't do it for Rogue One. And I thought to myself, well, is that because of the expected value? And I thought, oh, no, 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 because it was generally assumed uh, it would be huge. Th- that it would be huge and that people would save their powder for it. And then I distilled it a little bit more and I was like, no, ultimately we did it because it was important to Justin. So I declared yesterday, whatever Justin decides will be the policy, whether it shows up randomly in the draft or whether it goes right at the beginning. I kind of like it at the beginning. Here's what I would say. Once we have our teams, let's send out an email and just say, hey, look, if make your intentions known if you plan to bid a hundred on the last Jedi. And if we get more than one person that does it, then we'll do it first. If we don't, then if you want to be coy, then they can save their powder. So, uh, but, uh, for, for your tick box, you would, you'd prefer to have it first. Shh. Well, because you realize if you say yes, that's an indication that you would pay a hundred. Yeah, it. no, I'm, I'm not going to bid on it because I think it's going to be overvalued and people are going to chase it past a hundred. Um, Wait, but, is that uh, why you demanded that episode seven be first? Because you didn't intend to bid on that and you just wanted people to chase past it? No, I I, I thought that episode seven might like totally invalidate the draft. I, I thought because also what was different is that it, at that point, uh, the winner had not totally become basically just summer adjacent, you know, that, that there was still the. Like Oscar, you know, Steven Spielberg makes a movie about an old car that stars uh, Tom Hanks and Owen Wilson as the voice of the car. And it's going to the cars, an old Holocaust survivor who is also transitioning to a truck. And uh, that's the big story. It's it's uh, Steven Spielberg's broom. Uh, sure to win all the Oscars. <laughs> For the record, I'll have you know that one year, <clears throat> one year I won based on on Oscar buzz mm-hmm. because I had Lincoln and it had finished its run and it looked like uh, uh, Scott Johnson was was going to be first and then all of a sudden it got nominated for eight Oscars and it was like woo someone's in the money again. Uh, no, I, so I don't know, Brian, I, I, let's just put it first. I mean, I, I think more than one person will buy it and, and that'll knock somebody out of the draft early and that'll be fine. That seems, that seems fine. Uh, that, it, it, so, so it is spoken, so it shall be. Yeah. So. All right. Hey, I do want to say this. Uh, we're seeing it in both chats. Uh, I was not aware, aware that, uh, uh, this was the last uh, 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 episode of the show that we're doing on Muffin CDN. Is that true? Uh, that sounds right. I think the deadline for the first server to shut down is this coming Sunday and then next Wednesday. And I don't think the CDN runs without both of them. So what what I have heard, it, uh, the thing that people have said is that this will be the last Muffin CDN episode. Of okay. Well, then let me let me just say now this. Now as good a time uh, as any, uh, man. Um, yeah, before we came back to Twitch, uh, we streamed on DiamondClub.tv. We will always stream on DiamondClub.tv. Uh, it'll be a Twitch embed from uh, from here on out. Uh, uh, we want to make mention of this because, like Brian gave that TEDx talk about, uh, if you wanted to still community, really what we are is a live community. We, we uh, at our most potent, is right here on this stream, and uh, Sergeant Muffin was a huge part after we had set up DiamondClub.tv of making it uh, uh, bigger and better 
than it was. Uh, you know, he's moving on to do, uh, you know, bigger things and we wish him well in everything that he's doing, but thank you so much to Sergeant Muffin and Muffin CDN for being such a huge part of our show. Hail Muffin. Hashtag that. Muffin. Dude, uh, Man, in the beginning, there was uh, two dejected assholes, and uh, uh, Low did one Dan Dirks take pity upon them and mm-hmm. build them a life raft. And thus did Sergeant Muffin show up and say, this is a shitty-ass life raft. And so he did pimp out the life raft yes. uh, quite badass until until finally uh, uh, alive and, and teaming uh, uh, for whatever future shores awaits us. Uh, thank you so much, Sergeant Muffin. You uh, you built the raddest clubhouse I've ever been a part of in my entire life. So everybody go ahead, shower at Sergeant Muffin on Twitter with all the love that you possibly can. Throw him many, many diamonds and let him know if you enjoyed watching us on DiamondClub.tv uh, that uh, you appreciate his handiwork. Excellent. Uh, so, anything else, Brian? Uh, what did no, we learn here today? Uh, <laughs> learned that that uh, that I'm not entirely sure that you are as interested as my in my dog's DNA as I was. <laughs> I'm blown away that we got 20 minutes out of that. That's all I'm saying. I I, I have literally no background nor interest in dog DNA, and and I'll be goddamned if we didn't get uh, some prime prime beef out of that one. <laughs> we got uh, some prime I, chow chow. I, I, I finally know that uh, 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 Olivia uh, Newt John is my real dream. Nut on John. Uh, man, I learned that we found a hell of a game uh, that is a vast empire of, God, of we have stuff to be tapped. It's a whole book. <laughs> it's a whole book. <laughs> and by the uh, way, knowing that it came from England, I was so right when I called it White People Urban Dictionary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, And, of course, uh, we learned that the movie draft is coming up in a few weeks. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, see you next Tuesday. Diana Fire! Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program.